Well, first of all, this is little more than uh, an unboxing video and kind of a Merry Christmas message, so uh, might be a little bit of a lack of practical information in this video, but I'm excited. I got the Altair uh, 183 Mono. I keep saying 183C because I got so used to saying it, but that, that C stood for color. This is the mono version, so everybody that gave me a hard time about uh, shooting narrow band through a color camera, this is the answer. So this is again just a review. Uh, whether I end up keeping this camera or not, I don't know, but uh, I'll sh definitely show you what uh, what I'm able to do with it. So this is from Ontario Telescope and Accessories. Uh, I have not opened it yet. It's been sitting here for a few days. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful packaging. It's fresh from Steve's printer. Um, it's a brand new camera. I don't, there isn't a whole lot of information about this yet. Uh, I did see Altair share a few uh, example images by at least one photographer that looked incredible. So let's take a look at this guy. So the quick start instructions, this all looks very familiar from the uh, 183C and it's basically going to tell me that uh, I need to download the drivers from the uh, Altair Astro site. Yeah, cameras.altairastro.com. Uh, so I'm guessing I'll need to update my drivers there before I can start using it. This is going to be the cables. Uh, so this is probably going to be a USB 3.0 cable. And it is. Very nice. And then an ST4 cable for if I were to use this for auto guiding. Which would be, well, I guess for the high end guys they'd use a camera like this for auto guiding, but for me it would be a waste. Um, so let's check this guy out. Again, the little purple cylinder, iconic purple cylinder. Uh, it looks just like the 183C at this point, other than the fact that it has that little M on there. Yeah, that Sony IMX 183 sensor is in this camera. It's got the internal fan cooling as well as the um, just the open design. So that's what makes this uh, an improvement over a DSLR camera. Um, so the, there's more airflow going through it. The sensor is staying a lot cooler for those hot imaging sessions. And then uh, it's obviously, it's modified as well. So it, it would act like a modified camera would. And there's that little one inch um, IM, Sony IMX 183 sensor. So it's got the AR coating window on top. Uh, and then it's got the two inch nose piece here, which is great. Um, so I'll be actually threading this right into my um, 0.8 times flattener reducer, uh, the light wave flattener reducer. And then uh, I'd love to get the uh, narrowband HA filter threaded onto there for some H alpha uh, and really see the difference that uh, a mono camera makes over color. So four times the sensitivity of, of a color camera when shooting in narrowband. Uh, no longer am I just capturing those details uh, using an RGB uh, CMOS sensor. It's just mono one color. So much more sensitive for narrowband imaging. This is the way to go from the city. Uh, I, yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. Of course, that's um, a lot more work will have to go into my images. I actually won't be shooting um, through RGB filters right away. It'll just be the narrowband stuff uh, that'll probably combine into other projects. So very cool, very excited about this camera. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's Christmas time. We're recording this on Christmas Eve. Um, it's been really cloudy this month. Has not been a whole lot of going on since, uh, a whole lot going on since using the Fluorostar 132. Uh, I've, I've used that once, uh, even the CM60 I've used only a handful of times, the Mead uh, quadruplet, all this stuff, uh, and actually a ZWO ASI 294 uh, color camera just waiting to be used. 
Um, I mean, it's a good problem to have, uh, and I, I will get to it all eventually. I'm hope, hoping for some clear nights in January. Actually, I think Christmas Day is supposed to be clear, but uh, that's a bit of a stretch. It's gonna be a busy day. So I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas if you celebrate that, and uh, all the best for the new year. Thank you for all the support, support you've given me all year long on the YouTube channel, and uh, I look forward to much more.